Hi, everyone. We are going to talk today about a story that is in the New Testament of the Bible, but it is in a place beyond the four Gospels that we've spent a lot of time talking about. This book is called the Book of Acts, like actions. We know that Jesus ascended and left the earth, and we know that after that, the Holy Spirit came to the disciples. And this part of the Bible, toward the back, tells what happened after those two events of Jesus ascending and Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came to the disciples. We have a new word to learn today. That word is apostle. The disciples of Jesus were his students and friends. And after Jesus left, they were known as apostles. The Holy Spirit came to them, and they became messengers of the story of Jesus. One of these persons was Philip. He had been a disciple. Now he is an apostle. And the complete name of the book in the Bible where we read this story is the Acts or Actions of the Apostles. The story for today goes like this. Philip was continuing the ministry of Jesus, meaning that he was walking around noticing people and talking with them. On a particular day, the Holy Spirit, that still small voice, that speaks to us in our minds, told Philip to go to the road between Jerusalem and Gaza. We're talking about the part of the world that we call Israel now. Coming along that road was another man. This man was riding in a chariot. A chariot is a two-wheeled cart that looks like this one and it is pulled by a horse or maybe two horses. So a man was riding along in a chariot. This man was from Ethiopia, which is a country in Africa. He was a very important man to his country. He was in charge of the treasury, all the wealth of Ethiopia, and he served the queen of Ethiopia. This man was riding along in his chariot, reading a scroll. He was reading the words of the prophet Isaiah from a scroll. Remember, this happened a long, long time ago, and that's how people were able to read information. The Holy Spirit told Philip to join in with this man from Ethiopia. So Philip went up to him and said, do you understand what you're reading? And the man said, how can I without someone to guide me? So he invited Philip into the chariot, and they rode along the road together. Philip was able to answer the questions that the man from Ethiopia had. And he was able to tell this man the story of Jesus. At one point, they came in their chariot near water, maybe a lake or a river. And the man said, look, there's water. I could be baptized. So on this day, Philip baptized the man from Ethiopia. Philip lowered him into the water. He came up out of the water, and when he did, Philip was gone. He never saw Philip again, but he was so delighted that they had time together and they had a conversation, and that now he was baptized. He went back to the chariot and continued on his way home to Ethiopia. Philip continued to visit towns in the part of the world called Israel. He went along walking, noticing people, talking with them, and sharing the good news of the story of Jesus with them.
baptism is a sacrament of our church, and we've talked about that before. In baptism, we use special words. Pastor Clover and Pastor Ian say them, and they use water to make God's love for all of us something that we can see. Let's pray together now. Remember, we fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes, and we'll say amen together at the end. Dear God, we give you thanks for the stories of the Bible. We are grateful that they were saved for us and that we can read them now so long after they were told and written down. We thank you, God, for all the blessings of our lives and for all the ways that we can share them. We pray to you now, God, for our family and our friends. We pray for all the heroes and helpers of the world. We pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, the risen Christ, and we all say together, Amen. Amen. I hope you have wonderful days filled with the beauty of God's world. We'll see you again.